everyone, it's Colton with Wasatch Back Explorer. I am back for another video. Um, and this is uh, a new transition for me into a new kind of route I want to go with my channel. I'll keep doing the camping and the backpacking because that's stuff I do, but um, I'm going to take more of a focus on like the survival EDC, um, like tactical maybe not so much tactical might be not be the right word but just that edc survival and start teaching more of my knowledge and skills and experiences that i've had with like survival and being prepared and stuff because i've had experiences that have taught me um a lot of things and have changed my outlook on the outdoors being prepared just in everyday life and so um what i'm going to do today is this is going to be the first video of a new series so this is gonna be my EDC and what I carry five out of seven days of the week. And like the sixth and seventh day, I'll uh, point out things that I move in and out and what I transition into. Okay, so you kind of saw, I carry a lot of things on my belt, and so I'm gonna just start taking these pieces of EDC off one at a time, and kind of just explaining why I pick what I have, where I carry it, and it'll kind of give you an idea um, of what I have. So, um, first on me, let me go back here, um, just my watch, I don't know if you can tell, right here, my left wrist, I have the Garmin Instinct Tactical. So you can kind of see that maybe. But yeah, that is my watch. And I use this because um, I wanted a watch that would correspond with my inReach. And so these two will pair together. I can track, it gives me elevation footsteps just date. Um, that's really all I wanted. Um, I had like a G-Shock. Those are like really big and like chunky. Um, but the band on this is like super flexible and very um, uh, breathable and it's really not that big. And I like the big um, uh, clock readout there. I don't know if it's having a hard time focusing here. But yeah. You can see there, it's got the big readout, which I like. I prefer just to be able to glance at my watch, and that's what I didn't like about G-Shock, was it was like kind of like small, or they had the hands, and I just like to be look, and it's like 12.35 or 15.35, you know, whatever it is. So that's the Instinct Tactical. And this battery will last me about three weeks without a charge. So, um, and I did get the protective lens for it, and I got you can see kind of right there, the pink cap for the charger. So I can rock pink. So that's the watch. Um, the next item, so that I carry, that one's like two out of the five days. But when I'm working and I like, I sometimes do like small mechanic stuff, I, I feel like I'm gonna scratch that. So I don't necessarily wear that to work all day. And I'm in the demolition business, um, so I don't really um, use that too much. So the other thing that I carry probably once a week, sometimes it depends on the situation. So when I work in the demolition business, we have to walk through the buildings that we're about to demolish and you know get a look at them, take uh, you know a tour of everything, just kind of get a feel for it. And these are abandoned, condemned buildings, sometimes in like downtown Salt Lake, really kind of crappy neighborhoods. So for me, Every once in a while, not all the time, um, I will carry my concealed firearm. And the reason for that is obviously homeless people. I've had homeless people walk up right behind me and not make themselves known and just kind of stand there, which has been kind of weird. So I always, um, you know, if I know I'm going in somewhere, I always carry my firearm. But I also go on to federal land a lot because we do work for the government, so I have to be careful. But when I am carrying and when I am... Um, you know, out and about with my wife or doing other things, camping, stuff like that. I always um, carry my firearm. 
So just so you guys know, this is cleared and safe. I did this just for the video. Don't freak out. Um, so this is my concealed carry. I do carry appendix. Um, I have tried about the four o'clock position. It was all right, but I did the appendix so I could have the extra magazine with me. So I carry an extra eight round magazine for my Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. I love this for concealed carry. It's very slim. I don't see the need for anything bigger. Um, let me see here. So this is the firearm. I'm gonna turn auto focus on real quick so you guys can see. Might be some noise, but this is the shield right here. Um, it does have the Streamlight TLR6 on it with the light and the laser as well. So um, you can run both at the same time or just one. So always have a light on your concealed carry. And then I had it milled out to receive the Hollow Sun 507K. Um, and I did this because I like the way it looks. But also, uh, when I'm in a high-stress situation, I want to be able to just have a reference point right there instead of like trying to line up the sights. I'm trying to get rid of the human error, if you will, so I can just pull this up, and as long as I can see the red dot, you know, I'm you know on target. Heaven forbid, I don't want to use this, but um, I will if I have to. So I got one extra magazine, then I put the slim, um, the seven carry, um, clip in there and I'm running the Hornady uh, self-defense ammunition in there so that's that so that does come with me every once in a while depending and then for the holster I have the tier 1 concealed um, I can't remember the name of it anyways it's the uh, weapon and the obviously the extra mag carrier um, very comfortable holster, really nice. Um, you don't really feel it and it flexes obviously because it's got the uh, elastic band in there. So um, with that, so I got the multicam with obviously the lime green, it's pretty cool, I like it. Um, let me think here. I did have to modify it to fit my, um, uh, what is it called, RMR technically, whatever. So I had to shave it down to, so it would click in a little bit better, but I'm okay with that. So that's my concealed carry. And then after that, for um, my phone, I carry the, this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So it's two years old. Um, I like it somewhat. Well, no, I really like it. I don't know why I said that but it's kind of getting low on battery capacity so I may upgrade sometime to the 14 Pro Max um, I do run it with the OtterBox clip and I do run it on my uh, belt because I don't like um, carrying this big chunky thing in my pocket when I'm working because I can easily just snap it on snap it off right to a phone call or whatever so um, that's why I like that like I said it's the OtterBox Defender um, the screen is pretty beat up, so um, it does kind of take a beating, but it's still good. So I'm still rocking that. And like I said, carry the clip, and I can just easily, when it's on my belt, I can just whip it right out and put it right back, and it takes up less room in the pocket. Then, as well, um, in my pockets, right now I'm carrying the Spyderco Tenacious. It's a very budget friendly um, pocket knife and I'm actually wanting to get just another one just in like just black for everyday carry and leave this one for the nicer stuff but anyways it's about $50 like on Amazon right now holds a blade pretty well it has got the um, CR13 MOV blade it keeps a fairly good edge if you stay on top of it um, but I really like, I didn't think I would like the Spyderco like big hole um, for the flip, but I really do. And I like how it carries in the pocket. It's not the deepest carry ever, but it does pretty good. 
Um, next, so sometimes this is where it gets, I carry a lot of stuff while I'm doing this video, but I carry two sets of keys because I have my work truck. Uh, it's just a Chevy 2500 keys and just random miscellaneous things with a paracord dongle. And then I carry my personal truck key. So my house keys are on this because I use this truck five days a week and I use this truck maybe once a week because I don't you drive it too much. So that's why. So if I go places and I need the house keys, I'll just take both. I don't want to replicate keys because I, I don't know. I, I can carry both. It's no big deal. And the dongles are just there for, you know, it's always good to have some paracord, but I can identify looking in like a drawer. I can easily know which keys are which. So that's why I carry that. Um, next, in my left pocket, so I carry my keys, usually one key on each side. And then, so my uh, knife was on my right pocket in the clip. And then on my left, I carry the Apple AirPods. I use these all day, five days a week minimum. So at work, you can maybe kind of see they're pretty worn out, beat up. But these are just from a Mobosi like case. You can find it on Amazon for like 10 bucks. I just want something to protect it. Also has a key ring. I don't use it. But like I said, I use these every day. I'm on the phone constantly with work. So just having one in all the time. It's really convenient. I used to wear Skull Candy like wired type of headphones, the Bluetooth wired. I actually really love those, but I moved to these for the like Siri, being able to text, answer phone calls, make phone calls. So that's why I have that. Um, are they worth the money? Yeah. I don't know. I have mixed emotions, but I like their package. For my light right now, I am carrying the, it's the Nebo. Let's see if it'll focus here. There we go. It's the Nebo Torchy. Um, it goes up to a thousand lumens. Um, <sighs> yeah. I don't know how much I like this light. I like the magnetized, like just, you can set it down and it'll magnetize charge. I don't like the button. I, that's why I can't get O lights or like this light. It's got this kind of dumb design for like a, um, button and it comes on in my pocket all the time and then it gets really hot. Then my battery's dead. I just don't like these side buttons for some reason. I'm a tail person and I used to have the Streamlight MicroStream USB and I'm looking on Black Friday, today's Black Friday, for the um, Macro Stream rechargeable. I really love that but I'm also looking at another Streamlight because I like the um, end button and Streamlight has always been like a really good product for me. I have a few lights by them. Some people don't like them. There's Phoenix and all this stuff, but I really like Streamlight. So this is kind of just because I needed the light. So I'm looking for a new one. Then, oh, last, well, not last but not least. This video is going well. I have the um, Dango wallet. I don't remember which one it is, but it's like this cool design. It's like metal with some leather. I really like leather. I like the way it looks. It's like classy. But it's also got this like elastic band. So I carry some cash here just because cash is always good to carry around. And then like on one side I have like my cards, my debit cards, and then just like all my licenses and yeah, licenses and other cards. So I try and keep it pretty slim. I do like the um, paracord pull because I can easily just reach it and it's kind of usually hanging out so I can just whip it out like that. And it's there. So that one's pretty good. Cool. I really like that. It's pretty slim if you can tell. Not too bad. And then almost last but not least. So on my belt, so I'm taking my belt off right now. I have this. It is a key ring. And I used to not carry this all the time. Um, but in the company I work for, we're moving to where every piece of equipment that we have, each person is supposed to have keys. 
And so I have like our shop key and then the keys for our various machines. And it's just, I don't want to keep adding keys to my pocket. So I made this, um, just has some paracord. It's like a five out of 10. It kind of like falls over, but I'm looking to modify it, but you can just easily, you know, get the keys off, push them back on. That I only carry during work. So that's why I have that. And then I've just recently, this is a lot of stuff, recently started carrying a multi-tool. Now this is the Gerber um, Sidekick or something like that, one of the two. I can't remember if it says, the Truss, excuse me. This is the Truss. I bought this to see if I would like carrying a multi-tool and I am hooked. I've used it every day since I've carried it. Um, and like those things where I'm like prying with my normal blade, I mitigate that with this. So this was about 50 bucks. It's not the nicest thing ever. It's kind of chunky, um, but I bought it to try out. Now there's other cheaper ones, but I wanted to go about medium duty. So it's got the normal blade, saw, screwdriver, obviously the needle nose, and it comes with the pouch. And I carry this and I love how they have it um, able to like go with your belt. So I carry this behind my phone, kind of back at like the four o'clock position. So and I can whip this out really easy. And I'm actually looking into like a leather holster where it'll carry my multi-tool, a flashlight, a pen, all that stuff. So I'm carrying that right now. Um, I do carry a pen. This is the um, Grafton Mini. And I actually changed out the tip for a um, Pilot G2. So I just cut it down because I like the G2s. I like the metal. Um, it's really stiff. This big clip fits over your pockets. So I have that. And then last but not least, probably one of my favorite belts that I have. And it's not like super um, high quality or like a big brand name. You know, you can buy all these big things. It's semi stiff. Um, it's especially stiff where it's double uh, banded here. Um, but this right here is the Condor Rigger Belt. And I love this thing. I love how tight I can get it and how slim it is. I do have another belt with the Cobra and I really, really, really love the Cobra but it's hard to thread stuff with that Cobra buckle. So I've settled with the Condor rigger belt. Um, it's rated, it's fully weight rated. I don't ever see me using it for that point, the uh, purpose, but it is. So yeah, it's, it's pretty cheap compared to like some of those ones that are like hundreds of dollars for a belt. I don't know, personally, I've tried all sorts of belts, leather belts, um, like the cheaper con or Cobra style belts off like Amazon just to like try it. And that's what you'll notice about me is I will find a cheaper option on Amazon to see if I like it. And then if I like it, I may upgrade to the higher quality one, but sometimes like the cheaper ones, you're actually like, this is actually working really good. So that's how I've come to a lot of this stuff. So, um, Anyways, yeah, that is all of my EDC. My pockets are empty. Now you guys are probably thinking like, holy crap, that is a lot of stuff. Yes, it is. But like I said, I don't carry everything. So um, sometimes like my gun's there and sometimes it's not. Um, sometimes my watch is there, sometimes it's not. So this is like, if I were to pile everything on, this is everything that I have. And it's really not that bad. Like like I said, most of my stuff goes on my belt and I'm looking to get one of those leather kind of holsters that'll hold multi-tool, a pen, a flashlight, and my keys. And that'll just stay right here behind me in like the four, five o'clock position. And then I can have my phone there. So it's really not that much. I hope you guys enjoyed you know, kind of getting a view of like the EDC of a construction worker slash, you know, like 
everyday guy. I'm really not like crazy um, tactical, but I'm like, you can see I'm a normal guy. Like this is normally what I wear in the winter right now. It's November sweatshirt. I have some Carhartt pants on, some darn tough socks. Like I'm really not that crazy of a guy. Maybe my wife might say different, but anyways, um, yeah, that is uh, everything. Like I said, hope you enjoyed. Please stay tuned for more. There's going to be a lot more. I have a lot more like survival prep, what I do when I go into the outdoors. And there's going to be some stories to be told with those as well. So thanks, everyone. Have a great Thanksgiving and holiday season. And we will catch you in the next video.